People of the African family, welcome to another edition of the African Liberation Media Show. I'm your co-host, Brother Amos, here with my esteemed elder, Baba Makaru. How you doing today, Baba Makaru? Uh, every day is a blessing, good brother. Every day, every day is a good blessing. I'll say. So we're going to discuss the the idea of the proposition of uh, Palestinians being transported to the Congo. Uh, this recently came up uh, in the news and we wanted to give our input on this particular information. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, the report came out from the, uh, the Times of uh, Israel, which seems to have access to uh, the Israeli uh, government or the war, the war cabinet that is uh, conducting this, you know, war crimes in Gaza. And uh, it said that they were seeking to the seeking the forced migration of the entire 2 million, 2.2 million people of Gaza to Africa. That was the, that was the headline. And, uh, first thing I thought about, you know, being a, a student of World War II, I thought about, I said, this is an eerie reminder of the Third Reich's Madagascar plan. Uh, the plan called for the resettlement of one million European Jews per year over four years to Madagascar. Madagascar would be a police state run by the, uh, the Nazi uh, SS. Now, Madagascar, of course, was a French colony. It had been colonized uh given to france during the uh berlin conference 1884 1885 but of course the third reich had run over france which supposedly had the largest army in the world in about uh, six weeks in 1940 and so a, a bunch of uh right-wing french people known as the vichy french uh became collaborators with the nazis and they ran several of the um of the French colonies in Africa, the Vichy French did. So they said that the Israeli officials had held talks with the, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Rwanda and Chad about accepting Palestinians pushed out of Gaza. And of course, my first thought is would these neo colonies, you know, accept blood money, uh, you know, for this, uh, horrendous scheme as it turns out those three countries have have reportedly denied the uh the report that came through the media and so uh the democratic the the, the initial report that was in the times of israel just said the congo and so my question was, are they talking about the People's Republic of Congo, which is definitely a French neo-colony or the Democratic Republic? The Democratic Republic of Congo has denied it, but the, but the PRC, the, the uh, People's Republic of Congo, hasn't comment on, commented on it. So, you know, they they could possibly be in line to uh, to take this, uh, this blood money. But the uh, UN Special uh, Rapper, uh, Rapporteur said that the removal of the population, the forced removal of a population, is in fact an act of genocide. And any country that participated would be aiding and abetting genocide and could in fact be brought before the International Court of Justice themselves. So that's something for these countries to think about, you know, if they if they're going to participate in this uh, devious demonic scheme, you know, by the Zionist state. But there's no question that the Zionist state wants to remove the entire population of Gaza from the land that uh, that we that, that we know as Palestine. There's there's absolutely no question, and they've tried to make offers to both uh, Egypt and uh, Jordan, both of whom rejected them. And so now they, they now they now they're trying to find a flunky or a lackey or a puppet 
to accept uh, accept this 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 population. So uh, hopefully these uh, countries will not go along with this. Maybe the African Union could step in and say, you know, not that they have any control over, but you know, they certainly could threaten. You know, if you do this, if you violate, if you violate, uh, you know, these uh, these human rights laws, then they could take some types of actions against them. You know, I don't know, but you know, it's always Africa. It, at one point, um, Uganda was considered a, a, as a potential home uh, for the uh, for the Zionists. They were going to build a Zionist state in Africa. Uh, the Nazis were going to move Jews to Africa. It seems like Africa is always the place that they turn to. And it, it, it has to do with, you know, our position in the world in terms of power. Right. And, and, and that will remain the case until until these countries actually realize that they are states and not nations. E even as large as they are. They uh they need to be unified as as a as the as the United States of Africa. Okay, so um, we'll see how this plays out. But it was something that uh, that came up, and you know I just wanted to give a few comments on it. Uh, you got anything to add to that, brother Amos? Well, it's interesting that they would choose Africa for a destination of. Uh, Palestinian people when you have so many other Arab nations right around uh, that region like Yemen like uh, Iran um, Syria there's so many other countries that those people would blend in better in than deep in the Congo you know, and, and, and currently the Congo is also in a state of war where warfare is, is happening. So you're moving them from one war zone to another war zone. Yeah, exactly. And they were saying that 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 the uh, that the election that, that it was recently held in the DRC, the Democratic Republic of Congo, uh, could, in fact, heighten the prospect of a more full-blown war between uh, the DRC and Rwanda. So basically you would be moving people from one conflict zone to another, but they they, they could care less. <laughs> you know, they, they they could care less, but certainly, certainly the Congo, the Democratic Republic of Congo is in no position. Uh, they can't even take care of their own people, right? So you know, conflict raging, like you said, in the uh, in the eastern section, you know, where, you know, all this cobalt mining and coltan mining and copper mining and other mining is taking place. Uh, you know, war the war over the resources of probably the most minerally rich landmass on the planet. Um, hopefully, uh, Hopefully they got the message from the United Nations official who said that if you participate in this, <laughs> you will be aiding and abetting genocide. So, you know, we've already, already seen a terrible ethnocide, you know, in the region, in Rwanda in 1994. Estimates range as high as 800,000 Africans were killed as a result of the ethnocide. Uh, between the uh, Tutsis and the Hutus. So, you know, this, th this is not good. But the thing that's just interesting that it's just always Africa has become the dumping ground mm -hmm. for other, other people's, you know, problems. So we stand thoroughly opposed to this and I hope these nations will stick by and we'll see what happens with the neo-colony People's Republic of Congo. Brothers, since you leave your comments down in the comment section, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If not, then leave your comments why you do not like the video down in the comment section. Make sure you click the notification bell so that you always be notified when we upload new videos. And please, please make sure that you subscribe.
future content. Until next time, a beeper for Hodier. Beeper for Hodier. <laughs>